What's up guys? It is I, once again, Yusuf Al Senad. And today, guys and girls, I want to talk about and review Chad Stileski's 2019 released action thriller slash drama John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum and God fucking damn. This movie, guys and girls, was so fucking awesome. Not as good as John Wick Chapter 2, but still very good. And this movie, obviously, sees the return of Baba Yaga, the boogeyman himself, John Wick, Mr. Wick, played by my boy Keanu Reeves, and Keanu Reeves is back as Mr. Wick, Baba Yaga, and my god, this man is on a killing spree, and this man will not go down regardless if he is excommunicado, and he will not stop until he gets a second chance at life because he wants to live and remember his beloved wife Helen and John Wick will stop at nothing to achieve that which is redemption and a second chance at life even if it means fighting and surviving against many of the assassins of the table the high table and this is a war between John Wick and the assassins of the high table but a bigger fight and war with himself as an individual and a man who must choose which life he wishes to live live and die as a man the man who his beloved wife Helen had loved or to live and fight and die eventually as Baba Yaga the boogeyman those are his choices and no one else's but John Wick must want once again, fight and survive, and fight and survive, he shall, damn right guys and gals, John Wick is back, and this movie, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, was directed by Mr. Stileski himself, and was written by four writers, and they include Derek Kolstad, Shay Hatton, Chris Collins, and Mark Abrams, and this film was so fucking good, and so fucking kick ass as an action film a damn great action film one yours truly fucking loves so much I did guys and girls and Keanu Reeves was so fucking good and Keanu Reeves as John Wick Baba Yaga the boogeyman he will face the consequences of his actions because in John Wick chapter 2 at the end of the film at the end of his tale in that movie John Wick chapter 2 John Wick had shot and killed a man in the Continental, the Continental, which is a hotel owned by Winston or Mr. Winston, who yours truly will call Mr. Winston because respect, brothers and sisters, respect damn right, and he is played by the always awesome and great Sir Ian McShane. Sir Ian McShane is so fucking awesome as Mr. Winston and Sharon his assistant is played by the always awesome and great to Lance Reddick and he is so good in his role as Sharon and of course John Wick will eventually seek their aid because John Wick once again is excommunicado which means he is the most wanted man on the list of the high table who want him dead and shot down but John Wick will not make that easy for them, no siree, and John Wick also seeks the aid of his old friend Sophia and his mentor slash teacher and mother figure simply known as the director and she is played by the always awesome Angelica Houston and Sophia, John Wick's friend, his old friend is played by Halle Berry surprisingly and of course this film sees the introduction of a new character simply known as the adjudicator and the adjudicator is played so fucking well and so awesomely by Asia Kate Dillon and my god I love her guys and gals I love women like her with short hair why can't more women have short hair like her Asia Kate Dillon because she is so fucking awesome and really does your 
absolutely say this about anyone, men, women, or trannies, but Asya Kate Dillon is so fucking sexy and so fucking badass she is as the adjudicator and I love her so much, the adjudicator, I do, and John Wick Chapter 3 was so fucking good, Parabellum is such a great action film with plenty of kick-ass action scenes, action scenes which were so kick-ass and so creative they were and these action scenes and the whole film was so fucking awesome and kick-ass and this movie had yours truly at the edge of my seat literally and figuratively and this movie had plenty of great acting by everyone, actresses and actors alike including my boy fucking John Wick played by Keanu Reeves, my man, damn right guys and gals and Lance Reddick as yours truly had mentioned was so great as Sharon and likewise Ian McShane, Sir Ian McShane was so great as Mr. Winston, Asya, Kate Dillon as the adjudicator was so fucking awesome she was Angelica Houston once again was so good and so awesome and of course commanding as the director and yours truly fucking loved her so much I did and Halle Berry was quite good as Sophia John Wick's friend his supposed friend and of course this movie guys and gals was made so awesome because of the direction by Chad Stileski and the fight choreography and the fight scenes which were so awesome and so kick-ass and so well shot and well filmed because of Chad Stileski's direction and the acting that went behind these action scenes and fight scenes they were that good and so creative in the way the action was filmed so fucking good in fact I was floored by them I was Oh my fucking god, guys and gals. I almost forgot about Lawrence Fishburne, who's back in this movie as his character from John Wick Chapter 2, the king, the king of the pigeons, as yours truly calls him, the eyes and ears of New York City, and he is the Bowery King, and my god, guys and gals, Lawrence Fishburne is so over the top, yet so good as the Bowery King, so... All hail the king, baby. All hail the king. And Lawrence Fishburne should calm down because we all know he's the king. Indeed he is. And the king is back and awesome as ever. Damn right he is. Damn right. And this movie as a whole was so fucking good and so awesome. The message and moral of this story, of this tale, guys and gals, is never, and I mean never trust anyone no matter who he or she may be because they will stab you in your back and they will twist that motherfucker until you are down and out and dead because that is what rats and traitors do stab you in the back and twist twist and twist baby and John Wick learns that lesson the hard way he does and this movie once again as a whole was so fucking good and yours truly does recommend and you guys and gals watch Chad Stileski's John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum please do and thank you guys and gals for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my gaming channel where I do let's play series gaming content and so much more until next time peace out take care adios amigos au revoir and sayonara